Hello? Hey, Kendra. Will Smith. How you doing? Now, why the hell you smack Chris Rock? <laughs> I'm the nicer version. I'm the, I'm the nicer version. <laughs> What's your name? Your name is Will, right? Where you call me from, Will? Um, calling from Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. I've never been to Kentucky. It's a nice place. They got I'm the Kentucky nervous. Derby, Kentucky well, Derby, all that good stuff. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be honest. I because I am. I saw as a child growing up Mississippi burning. So I am like, scared. I feel like these states are racist. And you know, I got the kind of mouth like, it's not gonna go well. Like so, I'm gonna so, be in jail or somebody, cause I'm gonna survive a shootout. Let's start So, so here's the thing, Kendra, you from, I'm from the shot. I'm, I'm from the South side of Chicago. So, you know, Chicago folks, we can adapt anywhere we go, right? Yeah, but calling me the N word ain't gonna go too well for somebody. So <laughs> well, that's I, anyway, I, you know. I'm the kind of person that try to avoid situations that I know how I'm gonna act in. So I am nervous to go to Kentucky, Mississippi. I drove through Tennessee one time and was like done with that. But is it racist in Kentucky the way I think it is? From my perspective, only been out here for a couple of years. I haven't run into into any of that. Um, okay, okay. maybe the world has changed. Okay, okay. Yeah. I could be wrong. I know it's I'm here. Just to, I'm just trying to tell you, as an East Coast girl, you know, I'm from Connecticut. Um, definitely live in Chicago right now. But I just feel like. I probably don't need to go to these states because they're going to say something to the wrong one and they'll be in jail. And you know, let me tell you why I ain't going to jail. Y'all know how much these wigs cost? I mean, damn, I'm about to sit my ass in a jail cell with my good ass wigs can't come with me. So I try to keep myself as a law abiding citizen all because of my wigs. Facts. Back to you, Will. I know you ain't need to know all that from Kentucky. So you in Kentucky. How old are you? I'm 40. 40. What do you do for a living? Uh, I own a company. I own a marketing firm. Marketing firm. You have any kids? No kids. No kids. So this is Will, Louisville, Kentucky, 40. When's your birthday, Zodiac sign? Uh, my birthday is September 5th. I'm a Virgo. A Virgo. All right. So Will, 40, Virgo, marketing company that he owns, no kids. Who are you looking for tonight? Um... I'm looking for a woman that can compliment me, not complicate me. Woo! Let's, let's get break it down, Will. Yeah. Um. I, the the brother before had a. I think I know what point he was trying to make about some of the women that are. They come off a little masculine. Um. And it, sometimes it turns the wrong. It it turns the right type of brother, the wrong way, if that makes sense. So um, let's break the so, so it it hung him up. So maybe you can. Pick up the baton, baton and give you the answer. What is a masculine woman to you? To me, a ma and I think it's all obviously all about perspective, but I think a masculine woman is a woman I got to compete with. Okay. You know, um, I'm not a po Of course, I totally respect, uh, you know, women entrepreneurs doing their thing. Absolutely. Go get it, girl. No problem. But when it comes to the being a woman and a wife side, sometimes, just in my circles, sometimes I think women forget the wife aspect of it. You know, I think that a lot of a lot of women don't even ask their mothers how to be good wives or ask other women who are married how to be good wives. They kind of so focused on being the boss that they forget that we are men. You know, and, uh, and and not to throw shade. I'm not throwing shade on strong, independent women. I think that that's awesome. But I do think that there's a balance when it comes to finding the right man. I love having these conversations. That's why I wanted to hear your perspective. Okay, so you don't want a masculine woman. You want a feminine woman. So to you, that means submissive? Um, I think it's equally yoked, right? I think submissive is a, is a two-way street. Um, but... Uh, equally yoked. I think that's the best way to kind of explain it. It's not about submitting to me. It's about complimenting. Me. It's about complimenting my style, not complicating it. Okay. Complimenting your style, not complicating it. Okay. All right. So what's some deal breakers besides masculine women? Um, deal breakers. Uh, deal breakers. Uh, I think I'm not into the, I'm not into the ghetto fabulous. I'm not. I'm not just being honest. No, I'm not trying to like again. I'm not trying to offend anyone. The question was what, uh, you know, 
what turns me off. Uh, so, um, you know, to get a life start. Real with- fabulous. So, because what came to mind, I'm not sure if you thought of this, but True. and I love this style. So I just want to see if we're on on, on the same wave plane. Wave plane when I say it. So for me, when I give this example, I want to be clear. I'm saying it as a compliment. When I think of Ghetto Fabulous, I think of Mary J. Blige, which to me is fly. Is that what you consider Ghetto Fabulous? Not at all. Okay, Not so at all. Ghetto Fabulous to you? I think Ghetto Fabulous is putting your personal over your responsibilities. Oh, right? okay, okay. So you don't mean by fashion. You mean no, 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 not at all. Just common sense, logic stuff. You know what I mean? I'm going to go get my nails done, but you know the baby needs some formula. Ooh. You know? Go, you go, you know, just just things like that. And, and I mean, I think everybody understands that mindset. We all know somebody like that. So it's, it's not, I don't think it's a surprise. Some of the people, people are saying ratchet. They said that you mean ratchet. If that's a better word to kind of describe it, I, I, I'll accept that. I, maybe I just lack the words to express that. Okay. But I get what you're saying. Like, don't be like, you know, if you got responsibilities, handle your responsibilities before things like nails. I got what you're saying, honey. Absolutely. Okay, okay, fair enough. So nobody get on fabulous. Anything else before we keep going? No, nah, that's, that's pretty much it. I think that, yeah, I think that everything else can be worked out or talked about. Okay. Does woman got to look a certain way? Um, I'm not into real heavy women. I'm just not. It's just not my style. Beautiful women. I, I love Lizzo. Now will. But, uh, now will. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. will. Sure. I understand. <laughs> I you understand. Already know, you know, you know where I'm going with this. What's your question? You say you're not into heavy women. Yes. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Sure. Okay, I will say this: you are not as big as I thought. The way okay. you were sitting, I thought you were bigger. I really did. You're not okay. So you're not as big as I thought. You did come across a lot more heavier. Maybe it's the way. angle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Okay. You you are like kind of like an average stocky. And a lot of women like your build. So I will say the camera frame. I thought you were were way larger. And again, I'm not disres. I don't mean to to offend any women that feel no. that way. I'm not. Well, here's the deal. You have the freedom. Let me tell you something. I've hosted this show for three years. Women will say without a stutter what they want and what they don't want. So I like to allow men to have the same freedom, right? Um, I just challenge all individuals, not just you, when I feel like they're saying something that they possess. So the reason why I was like, now will, because like I said, the angles seem like you were way larger. And I've done it with women. I've had women say they don't want somebody big who are big. And then I say, well, let's do the Kendra Cam. So that was the energy I that I was giving, but you actually are not as big as you appear as sitting. So now with that being said, let's continue. So you don't want a bigger woman. Yes. Okay. Anything else you want to say about the appearance? No, no, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Does she, does the woman have to make a certain amount of money? I think that she should be able to provide, you know, for herself, be stable. Um, again, just, I think we're, you know, me being 40, I'm, you know, responsible for, responsibilities are a very important part of my life, you know, at this moment. So, um, you know, trying to prepare for the future and all that good stuff. I think that those type of behaviors and stuff like that are very important. Okay. Now you have no kids. Do you want kids one day? Absolutely. Okay. Could the woman have kids already? Um, I don't mind. I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to it. Not at all. Okay. You're not opposed to it. And you say you do want kids. All right. What's the age range you would date? You're 40. Uh, age range would probably be 30 to 30 to 45, 48, 30 to 45. So will 30, 45, does woman have to be in Louisville, Kentucky? No. Would you fly her out if she's not? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you what? okay? You about that? All right. So now going back to feminine women, do you consider yourself to be a provider? Like if you get into something serious, is it a 50-50 situation or what type of... You don't really have to answer this question, but I'm just... No, sure, sure. No, I, I don't think it's a question of... I think it's a, it's about what you can provide proportionally. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's not about... 
I do think finances do play a part in it, but um, as far as I'm concerned, is what you can do proportionally, right? I'm okay. not the guy to, that that's going to sit here and just trick off money. I ain't a trick. That ain't my style. Um, I'm a man. So my expectations is that um, the woman who I choose to be with is is on the same, like I said, mindset. They compliment. The vice complicate. Got you. All right. So, Will, when was your last relationship? Last year. Last year, which was <laughs> weeks ago. Fair enough. You don't have to answer this question. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Last year. Okay. Will, why do you think you're single? Um, I think I'm single because a lot of the, I think the women that I've come across, again, it's in, it's a situation where a certain lifestyle, you're you're competing, and, and I'm not into competing. I'm just not. Um, I just haven't found the right woman to, again, compliment my style. Um, I've dated entrepreneurs, but again, it was kind of, you know, who who wants to. Who wants to be the big dog? And I'm not trying to compete with women to be the big dog. That's me. So right. fair enough. All right, well, let's do it. Louisville, Kentucky, 40 is a Virgo, owns his own marketing company, no kids, open to having kids, okay with the women already having kids. Real big on no masculine women. He is not trying to compete with you. Um, and real big on not being as big, not a big girl. Yes. Okay. Give them, how do you want the woman to reach out to you, honey? Um, my Instagram, you could probably just Instagram or Facebook. It's I What's will enterprise. Um, so I will enterprise. Yeah, Spell enterprise. Is there any underscores, periods? No, ma'am. Just I will enterprise 23 or oh. I will enterprise Inc. Look, now that which one, which one is it? You got to give one so they can find it. 23. So I, I will. will yeah, I will enter. Let's just use I will enterprise Inc. That's my Instagram. So I will enterprise Inc. I N C. Okay, so I will enterprise Inc. So I W I L E N T E R I S will enterprise. I got, I got you, Kendra. I, I, I should have did that before. It's, it's going to be I W I L L E N T E R P R I S E I N C. I N C. I N C. I N C. Got you. Ooh, child. All right. Y'all know I'm dyslexic, child. So let us be jumping in and out this head. All right. Thank you, boo. Thank you, Will. It was All a right. good conversation. Okay. Yeah, you too, Kendra. Have a good day. Bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye.